Hey everybody! So today, double bottle bottom ring pour with rainbow colors. This is my second attempt. The first one, um, I tried to do it off kilter and have it flow, but it didn't work out. So I scraped the canvas and this is my beautiful 16 inch round that I get from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to try to do this. I just put the middle one in. It's just there. We're going to fix it when we take that first layer off. So I'm using Creative Inspirations Bright Red, Soho Cat Orange Deep, Creative Inspirations Yellow Light, Soho Sap Green, Lucas Cyan, Lucas Indigo, and Lucas Permanent Violet. And I'm going to start with the dark colors first because I want those on the outside. And I'm not going to put white in between. I did that on the last one. That's probably where I goofed. So let's start with the purple. So we want a generous amount to get it going. And I do have um, the Creative Inspirations Titanium White Base Mix down. And it doesn't matter if this is absolutely positive in the middle because we are going to be moving it a little. It's okay if you're a little off. And I'm sure I probably am. <laughs> On the painting. <laughs> so I want to let that green flow because the last one I did, the yellow just kind of took over. I did change out the yellow, so let's see if this makes a difference because I was using the Soho yellow and it did not cooperate with the green. See, I may need a little more because the green does eat it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to go with the Cad Orange. And the Creative Inspirations Bright Red. I definitely want all these colors to show up. See that the indigo is right into the purple. So hopefully on the next layer we'll be able to see a little bit more of the indigo. Now you have to let that drip off before you can remove that because you don't want any drips. So when you're lifting Pull straight up, get your hand under there quickly before you move it aside. Now I want this to flow in the spaces. So we're going to go ahead and start all over again. That's where it'll push a little white. I'm being very generous with the paint because I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit and we may even take it off centered because I don't like anything directly in the center unless it's there for a reason. Okay. So we have two rounds of color. I could mix this up and do one more and turn this again. Let's do that. It sounds like fun. Okay. Definitely it's not going to be a flower this time. <laughs> I'm all for playing though, trying something different all the time. Don't want to get bored painting, that's for sure. Now I notice my little cup here is trying to move a little bit, so that means we're getting too much paint around it. And we are kind of going that way a little bit. I'm trying to lean on this tray to 
bring it back this way, but it doesn't seem to be working. But this is the last one, so we'll get it off of there. These are getting smushed. <laughs> so we really need to um, start moving this. Okay, lift straight up. If you're ready with your hand, slide it under. Some beautiful cells in the middle. Now we're going to take our skewer. We want to pull that first layer of petals in. Always wipe your skewer off. And then I'm going to grab this layer and come in. Break that up. And I don't think I have to touch the outside one. And I don't want to bring it out because I don't like the points. I used to. I just don't care for them anymore. So now we're going to go ahead and start tilting. We have a ton of paint on there. Um, let me torch it real quick. It's some bubbles out. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. You can feel it <laughs> when you pick it up. The canvas itself was already pretty heavy. Always come back to that middle and go directly across to the other side. Slow and steady. Back to the middle. Now we're going to start coming at angles. You don't want to lose your pattern. Alright, that one went over the edge just a smidge and that's okay. We want that outside petal to go off. I just wanted to do each one at a time, but that's okay. We're still good. I'm taking it right up till it gets to the green. This one that snuck over a little bit. One more. And then we might work on getting rid of some of that white. Okay. We still have our composition of the flower in the middle. So I want to work on getting some more of this white off. So we may lose a little bit of color there. Slow and steady wins the race. So the more um, layers that you do with the bottle bottom, the more chances you have to actually get your flower look. So if you're just doing one layer of color when you're stretching you're kind of losing it. So, But I still have those five petals in the middle. Now here's where I like to step back and take a look. 
to see if there's anything I want to change. And you know, I kind of like it in the middle like that. Because if I stretch it out, we're going to have too much selling going on with the yellow. I want to see if I can get just that tiny bit of white off of there. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone in just one second. Okay. See if I can get that back to the middle. All right, there you go. Okay, I'm not touching it anymore, I promise. <laughs> so there you have it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on that bell so you'll get notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. We have our new group, the Parage Posse. Um, there you can meet the artists and learn some new techniques. And we discuss other stuff too, um, sales and where to find products. So it's a lot of fun there. And check out all the links below. We sell all our paintings on Etsy. We also do... Um, auctions about every six weeks to auction off our Monday night paintings but we won't see this one in an Etsy shop for at least a month so if you're interested in any of the paintings that I do during the videos shoot me an email at christinawellchart at yahoo.com and I'd be more than happy to discuss prices with you thanks so much for watching and I will see you all on the next one bye now <laughs>